Alright, what's up? I'm Ayan, and today I will show you how to download and install Xiaomi or Poco USB drivers and also how to download Xiaomi or Poco firmware files. So first of all, we need to go to this website. I will provide the link in the description where you will see how to download the USB drivers. So there are two options here. You can go with any of these. There are some Xiaomi and Poco drivers for Windows. So I'm going to go with the Xiaomi drivers and I will show you how to download and install both of them. First of all, we are going with the Xiaomi drivers. So here you can see there are a number of files. Here are all the devices that are given by Xiaomi. You can download or search for your device right from here. Let's go ahead and download the drivers. Here you can see we are given two drivers. There are some Qualcomm drivers and ADB drivers. I will recommend that you download and install both of them because both of them need to work together so you can flash your firmware files. So let's go ahead and download the Qualcomm driver first. As Xiaomi 12 Ultra is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, therefore we are given Qualcomm drivers right from here. And also you can download the ADB drivers. I will also show you how to install them so just keep watching. If your device is not powered by Qualcomm, you can search for your device right from here. Let me, let me show you how to download the POCO ones. Here you can see there is a list of POCO devices. Go ahead and select whichever device that you want to download the USB drivers for. You can see here this Xiaomi M6 Pro, uh, POCO M6 is powered by MediaTek Dimensity. So here we are giving the MediaTek drivers. We can download the video track drivers and also I will recommend that you download the ADB drivers as well because both of them need to work together or else something will definitely go wrong. Okay now we have downloaded the drivers and let me show you what to do next. Okay all of these drivers are downloaded right here. Let's go ahead and select all of them and then we need to extract these drivers. So all of these are extracted. You can open and see how to install them. Yeah, in the driver section you can see there is no installation file. There are just only extensions available, which means this can be this cannot be installed easily. So we have to do install it in other ways. I'm gonna show it right from here. Okay, simply just open the file that you have downloaded. Go ahead and here you can see there is an how to install link. This is how you download it and extract it. We need to open device manager and you can open device manager using these two options. But I'm gonna right click on the windows and open device manager. Then we need to go in and select the computer name and add a legacy hardware. So I'm gonna go here, select my computer here then I'm gonna go to the action menu and then add a legacy hardware I'm gonna go next and then what we need to do is go ahead you can see we need to press next and we need to install the second option and then gonna go next and have disk browse and locate those drivers we, I will show you right from here the second option show all devices next have disk and then what we need to do is browse drivers and select this particular file and then we need to go ok and we're gonna go next next and then install so let's go ahead and do that so we need to browse it and we need to find the download option this is not given here so we need to go here go to downloads locate the drivers which you have downloaded go ahead and here you can see this is the file let's open it up and gonna go click ok we need to, do not need to change anything right here we just simply need to go next this will install the USB drivers and we need to install it now the drivers are now installed but may not work correctly unless you re restart your PC or laptop whichever you are using Ok now I have downloaded and installed it, we simply need to restart it 
let's go ahead and do that but i'm not gonna restart it but i'm simply gonna show you how to restart your pc and i think you know how to do that we're gonna go ahead next and if you want to install the qualcomm drivers these are not gonna work right here because i will show you right now go browse and go to download again okay here we go here are some if you want to install the other than adb drivers these are not gonna work here because they come with the setup so they can be installed properly let's go ahead and install those qualcomm drivers here this is the qualcomm drivers for your your phone android device here we need to go next we do not need to change anything right here go next and accept install these come with a proper setup so they are easy to install not unlike the adb drivers okay now i have installed those qualcomm drivers simply gonna go and restart my system and those are gonna work correctly after that okay after you have installed the usb drivers the other step is to download the usb oh the xiaomi android firmware you for this i'm gonna be using the xiaomi firmware updater i will provide this link in the description i'm gonna scroll to downloads and here you can see we need to select these two options these are recommended select rom and latest so if you are using a xiaomi device or a redmi device simply just search your device right here if i am using a redmi i'm gonna search for redmi if i am using a poco device i'm simply gonna select a poco device right from here here you can see we have been given a lot of options there are some recovery and fast boot options this device is only available in india because I don't know, Xiaomi also makes some India exclusive devices. Okay, if you are searching for Poco devices, simply search for Poco M3. Or this is, for example, this phone is available in a lot of regions. But if your region is not located, simply go for the global version. And also, if you are using fastwood, you can use the fastwood method or recovery method, whichever you want to use. Simply just download the one. If you are want to install firmware using the fastboot method, download the fastboot one. If you want to install the firmware using the recovery method, you can download the recovery one. Here I am downloading the recovery one, full ROM mirror. And this is how you download the firmware. I do not have a Poco device right here, so that is why I cannot show you how to install them. But I'll, I am sure you can find a way on YouTube where you can know how to install those these files. So this is how you download the USB drivers and other stuff. If you want to go with Xiaomi, simply go ahead and as you can see there is also a global version. But this is a beta version and it can only be installed using the recovery file. This is the hyper OS or you can select whichever OS that you want. Also some devices come with other devices OSs as well. You can search for particular versions right from here in this Xiaomi firmware updater. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.